I told you to tie him to a tree. Well, he can hear better than both of us. Oh, come on. You know you like him. <laughs> he makes noise. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they vanished. Oh, don't start. It's like the house is watching. You're doing it on purpose. <laughs> oh, oh, this place is loaded. I'll check the barn. Being in a hurricane. Gus Grace, I don't know how you've kept us alive for this long, but you are amazing. It's my uh, keen sense of judgment. <laughs> Excellent choice in traveling companions, but she needs to start listening. Yeah, we'll see how you feel when I'm running from your companion. Oh, I would so haunt you. Um, Ellen, look, out here I'm more worried about survivors than companions, okay? Okay. Okay, we're like 20 miles from the main road. We're four miles from the main road. Um. I ran while you studied. I think I know how far 20 miles are. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> okay, I have a better idea of how far four miles are, but still. I need to go out there. 
Wait. I can't have anything else to worry about right now, okay? Just stay here, watch for Buster, and we need to be <gasps> quiet. Water! <gasps> really? I'm, I'm, that was louder than I thought it was gonna be. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really thirsty. Can I please? Is that all you got? Yeah. Yeah, I'm collecting things to trade at Bodega like you told me. Good. We're leaving. You said one night. No, I didn't. You did. Now, Ella. No. No, not now. I'm not your fucking dog. An egg beater. Tampons. An aluminum foil. rich. It's all on the list of the top 100 things to disappear first. <laughs> How do you know that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have a fortune in lantern mantles. Did you see something? Did you? A woman. A woman. I, I don't know. Ella, her, her companion, maybe? Okay, well, well uh, companions are drawn to fear, right? So as long as we don't get afraid, they don't come. Besides, they don't go very far from where they died anyway. It's like she's stuck in there. I mean, Jesus, Ella, what if somebody died here? And what if companions have nothing to do with death? Look, I need a break. Okay, one night. Look, I don't want you going anywhere near that barn or in that field or by that car. There's something in there. I won't. I mean it. I won't, Gus, I promise. Besides, companions can't even touch us. No, no, just... not companions, survivors. Ella, something happened here, okay? The war was three years ago. I doubt it happened yesterday. Get in the tub. What? It's 
That's my watch. So no sex for you. Get in the tub. Join us. The Isle of Bodega is a barrier island just off the coast of the town of Bodega. 400 miles south of Houston. We have laws, food, and children. Wonderful children. Your boyfriend is on the radio. I hope that wasn't your dog. take life for granted, yeah, because that's the way it's given, easy. People are changing, son, all around, but it mostly goes unnoticed. Well, take your lady, for example. I doubt she'll ever be the same. Wait. Uh, doctor. Huh? Oh, dear. Okay, I can't. I well, can't. now that's bad luck. Because Maddie here got his jaw broke. No, no. No, no. Hey. No. Hey. hey. Have you seen an awful angry fella running around here? Huh? Goes by the name Abner. I can fix his job. I, I can fix your wound. Just don't hurt my wife. Son, nothing happens in this world that ain't absolutely necessary. Tonight, you're witness to a miracle. We have seen things. Things that are hard to understand. Buster! Uh, ma'am, I'm a preacher. There's something in here! Don't be afraid. Open the door. What's, uh, what's, uh, it's a Psalm 23. Oh, that's smart. It's a Bible verse. Now, I like that. There's a companion. The Lord is my shepherd. Now, that's Old Testament. <laughs> now, personally, my favorite is Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. <laughs> We can build this world back together. Isle of Bodega, huh? Why, we're heading there ourselves. Now, don't that just sound like palm trees and coconuts, huh? Hell of a place to start a ministry. <laughs>
You're looking for a savior. Let me show you my... We have to hide. No. No. no! We have to hide. No! No! I'm dying there! No! Gus. Run. 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 It's, it's just a forest. I'm not. Run. No. He's going to hurt you! Don't look like you're gonna make it, son. <clears throat> That's a shame. Broken men make the best soldiers. Is she alive? Yeah. When given the option, man always reverts back to his most bestial character. I believe she's beginning to understand that. Fuck you. People are savages nowadays, I know. But now is the time to do something about that. Let her go. Please. Faith binds us together uh, well, like a fabric. Yeah. Now, I'm building an army and fear is going to drive them right to it. She's not safe in there. Oh, you got to let her go. Let her go. Hope is the only thing a savage man suffers. Hey, look at me. You know that, that fella on the radio? Well, everybody's headed to his commune, so we're going to take it. We're going to start building the world back the way that it should be. Honestly, now that those two uh, are in there taking turns with your wife, how can you think of anything other than violence? You son of a bitch! <laughs>
You failed. Timely preparation for future eventualities. That's the definition of providence. Oh, fuck you. You failed. Fuck you! Fuck you. I failed too. And I'm gonna kill that fucking bitch boy. He got away. But I don't know where he's going. Stop looking at me. That man out there with you. Stop looking at me! He's gonna die. He's been gutted. That's weeks of agony until it ends you. Now, there's a time we're fighting, but this is a time of mercy. Be easier coming from you. Gus, I, I can't. I. I've got enough regret. What do you want? She can come with me. My wife? She's gonna die out here? No. No, tell him. Tell him, Gus. Tell you him. You wanna take my wife with you? It ain't right just leaving her. Shit like that you comes back around. You stay away from me! It'll be worse for you. There'll be other survivors. Take care of my wife. Take both of us. Take us both. We, we can help you find the preacher. The preacher's the last of them. I ain't taking a chance at losing him. No, he, he can make it. I'm he... sorry, but I ain't got time to watch your man die. Come with me. I'll be stuck here with his ghost. Wait. He's taking care of her through all of this. The companions. Truth is, neither of us are cut out for this. You know what I'm not cut out for? Listening. What are my intentions? Do I plan on her keeping me warm at night? Some men would. Women I know wouldn't put up with that shit. I can't imagine keeping a woman like that. Too much damn effort. That fell out there in the barn, he done the same thing to my wife. Preacher killed her and my son. Revenge keeps me warm just fine. When that starts festering, you're gonna shit yourself. You won't even be able to get out of the bed to do it. Is that how you want your lady remembering you? Changing your fucking diapers? Oh, no. You don't. I ain't got all day. You got your guy. I go after the preacher. I ain't got nothing better to do. No, I am not going with him, and you can't make me. He's right, Ella. He's right. Do you want me to go? 
be right here. Maybe he's crazy. I was in the barn. What? What? Gus? Gus? Wake up, Gus! Gus, wake up! Gus, please wake up! Say something. No. I ain't looking at you. I ain't spoken to nobody in months. Hell, I was never known for my conversation anyway. You smoke, I got a carton. Are you gonna hurt me? I ain't got time for that. What kind of answer is that? Honest. I ain't gonna hurt you. Preacher's injured, I'm just trying to spot him. <laughs> God damn it! I would have stopped. <laughs> you didn't bring nothing like I told you. Expect me to fucking feed you? My husband just died. We gotta clean it out. Give me the keys. You know? My father was a cop. He had the kind that likes for his daughter to know how to shoot. I couldn't have left you back there. I ain't right. Strip. What? Take off your fucking clothes! How does it feel? I can't imagine. Wouldn't wish that on nobody. What are the handcuffs for? I have to go places. Uh, I get scared, all right? I cuff myself to the damn bumper. That way I have to face it. And fear can be used against me. Teach me how to do that. Supposed to drain the tanks, but they don't. I got it. Cost too much to dispose of. Put it in your mouth, take a draw. Put it in your mouth. You gotta learn. <laughs> That's part of it. <laughs> 
I just left him there. <laughs> they ain't real. People paint him, so survivors leave him alone. What's gonna happen to him? Is he gonna turn into a companion? Sit down, you're making me nervous. Oh! Look, you ain't gotta be afraid of me. What you're worrying about ain't a part of me at all. You can't save everyone! I didn't want any more regrets! It's okay. You hear that? Look at it. Can't come no further. I saw her. I saw it too. There ain't no reason for him to be out here. Don't try and figure him out. Is she trying to talk to us? It won't last. We ain't afraid no more. What is death? Does it understand time? Is there a beginning and an end?
you want? What do you want? What do you want? Why are you still here? Say something! <laughs> She's gone! Women, huh? They'll fail you every time. You ever shoot somebody? Look, we're wasting bullets. Hitting targets is more important than bullets. Missed. Well, now you sound like Gus. Don't blame me if you didn't stand up to your husband. You know, it's not that you're not known for your conversation, it's... <laughs> no, go on, say it. It's that what you have to say is useless. I'm useless? Don't... Everyone left is survivors, Ella. Ain't no room for victims. You should have killed that man in a barn what he done to you. You don't get to talk about that. At least my family didn't ask me to leave. Gus died fighting for me. Sure about that? Because I remember him telling me to go and take you with me. I'm going to kill you. I don't give a fuck. That's a joke. The Lord's just waiting for us to find something that matters so he can tell it. Unique are the responsibilities of the wife, one of which are helping her husband become what he is intended to be. I say let her go. <clears throat> hey, now. I did not do that to you. You attacked you us. You saw who I was with. You can't control crazy. Now, I stayed clear of that barn, didn't lay a hand on her. Now, I could have split you open with that ax, but I did not. You're not the only person trying to survive around here. So what? You want me to be your soldier? Oh, well, son, I'm... I don't have soldiers. Oh. I've got orders. Orders? Yeah. What? You, you're saying all this is for someone else? The man above. <laughs> <laughs> there is something seriously wrong with you. It's twisted. <laughs> and you know it. Do you know how long it took us to come out of the Dark Ages. Dark Ages. Thousands of years. <laughs> now, right now, we are on the precipice. And we can either correct it, or we can let people suffer. Don't you see you're the one making people suffer? You got there? It's sugar. All right, it, it keeps the pH levels down. Makes it hard for bacteria to grow. Just trust me. Who's the soldier now? I'm only doing this because the guy that has my wife won't stop until he kills you. And you're gonna save her, are you? <laughs> yeah. I am. Uh. 
A woman should never abandon her husband. I made Ella go with him. But you didn't want her to, though, did you? Yep, see, now that's your fault. A good woman does what she's told. He told her I was going to die. So she found somebody stronger, huh? Oh. You know, there is a serious, serious corruption with that fella. Yeah, you, you can see it in his eyes. He's like a rabid dog. And you can bet that wherever she is right now, Ella <clears throat> wishes that she was right back here with you because there's just no telling what he's doing to her right now. <laughs> there. That'll hold you for a while. Now, where we're going, we're going to need a vehicle, so we'll probably have to take one. So I need to know, what are you willing to do? God, I miss the ocean. Salt air. Makes me want to fight. I could make it if I was at the beach. Yeah? I could. I studied marine biology. Stingrays were my specialty. So, stingrays are the key to survival. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I'd known. Save me some effort. Mm -hmm. I know how to fish. I mean, what else do I need? A place to hide when the hurricanes come. South Texas storms ain't too friendly. I never wanted to live in Houston. Gus wanted to. It's not a bad spot for a doctor. You know stingrays can see auras? Yeah, they have these, like, organs that can detect electricity in nerves and muscles. I was, uh, I was a welder. That was my special. I would have thought you were probably in the army or something like that. Hell no. My dad was army. Hated it. My father could barely keep me out of the ocean. You know when you're in the water for too long and your fingers get wrinkly? He would tell me that it was because all the sunshine had gotten washed off and I'd have to lie on the beach to get it back. I knew it. You don't have an aura. Come on, we got shit to do. I'm not sleeping out here. I figured you'd be happy. You want me to be your guard dog? You ain't gotta worry about me cozying up in the middle of the night. <laughs> You asked me to teach you. You gotta get comfortable being alone out here with your thoughts. This is how you do it. These shades keep your line of sight in the truck. That way your mind will wander. Clean the gun over and over and stay focused in here. I'm just teaching you how to take care of yourself. Nobody had done that for me, I wouldn't know how to do it neither. I'm out in the open. Yeah, they'll get you first. Listen, in the dark, listening is better than seeing. If anything happens, drive. It's 100 yards of the road, you can do it blind. You got a gun, you got a truck, you got a straight path out of here. Don't get no better than that.
Abner? Let me close my eyes for a minute. Abner? Where were you? Abner, where were you? Talking to my son. It happens. But his companion? Memory. I got history, too. I can't let it go. Did you bury him? Did you? I want to bury mine. Okay, we have to go back for Gus, please. I mean, if you know where the preacher is, then, then what does it matter? We... There ain't nothing back there but misery. There ain't nothing out here but misery. If we don't at least try to fix what went wrong, then... Then what's the point? Why continue? If he's close, we can just bury no. Gus and... Go fucking back. 
Abner. You're right. Okay. You're right. We should have buried him. We'll go back. And we ain't got to talk about it. seen Ephraim once on the way to Bodega. He's dangerous. That's funny. You calling somebody else dangerous? I don't think that man believes in anything. <laughs> What's in Bodega? I don't know the end of the rainbow. I got close, but then I came across Abner. <laughs> You're a fucking monster. Maybe. <laughs> no, even if you're right. You can't just make people follow you. It doesn't work that way. I am well aware that people like me have got no place once this is over. It's gonna be a dirty reminder. They're gonna put me out to pasture. Now, death may be the meaning of life, but we alone are unique in that we can see the design. Now, merit. The merit of life, well, that's what you put into it. What if you're wrong? I'll go with misunderstanding. It's a hell of a lot better than not listening. Yes. Peter. Now that's the real fabric. seen somebody's companion yeah have you ever seen somebody's companion who's still alive who who I didn't come here to kill him. I wouldn't do that to you. Hell, I wouldn't do that to nobody. I've been through this too. We were isolated at my ranch for so long. When the preacher showed up, I wanted to believe anything. I was desperate for someone to tell us it was okay. I let my guard down. Well, that's not your fault. 
We wanted to believe it, too. I lied to you. I don't know why. I tell myself it's because you was dying alone out here. But it was me. I'm dying alone out here. I don't know where the preacher's going. He's going to Bodega. He told me. Well, I ain't going back to Bodega. He's gonna kill Ephraim. We have to save it's him. It's a hundred miles from here. It'll take months. What do you mean, go back? What do you mean, go back? My family's buried in Bodega. That's where my ranch is. What if Gus is alive? Find help. And if he's dying? We wait. If he's going to Bodega, I can get to fucking Bodega. Thank you. You know, the preacher, uh, he told me something. Said that I was searching for a savior. <laughs> he was right. God don't make saviors. He makes survivors. Gus?
Your husband might be alive. You should be happy. Justin's right, hell. It ain't safe here. You could beat them. What, are they getting stronger? Getting weaker. We have to get to Ephraim before the preacher. How far is the Isle of Bodega? <sighs> then what's the point? I don't know where it is, but if he's still alive, I got a cousin in Bodega that would. Hey, look at what I found. One for each of us. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? I can cook. I like to stay busy. You ain't got a fever, do you? Don't, don't fuss. Here, you set the table. Did you see it? Did you? I asked you first. No, I ain't seen it. No thanks. I already got me a good woman. Hello, Merritt. Abner? You're looking good. Damn, I thought she was dead. You've seen the preacher around. Well, you tore out of here? I thought you went after him. Yeah. We well, come back a few days ago. Ephraim's people took care of him. Hey, baby. You grab me and my cousin a couple beers? Beer? No wonder you look younger. <laughs> well, they're hot, but they still fizz good. So, they're on the Isle of Bodega. <laughs> Ain't no such place. There's patches of ground right off the coast. Mostly salt grass. Us fishermen used to take ladies out to one with a beach. <laughs> We call it the Isle of Bodega. Thank you. Harry, when we was in school, we used to ask Merritt what put page numbers on his toilet paper. Still ain't got to lick a damn cent. So they could be here? Are you looking for paradise? From the radio? Ephraim's out at your ranch. Moved in right after you. Well, you know. forest is full of bones. I don't know what they're doing out there, but that's where they take them. What happened to the preacher? They killed him. But he was alone? As far as I could tell. You'll have to ask Ephraim. Well, why don't they come after you? I'm sick. Why don't y'all take him with you? Just give him a chance. Please.
Do you think the preacher killed him? Find out in the morning. Hey, look at me. No. <sighs> Talk to me, please. What's the matter? It's awkward. What, being in bed together? I don't want you being uncomfortable. <laughs> Deserted, like the dwarves at dawn. It's the hour of departure, oh deserted one. Cold flowers are raining over my heart. In you, the wars and flights accumulated. From you, the wings of songbirds rose. How terrible my desire was to you. How difficult and drunken. Cemetery of kisses. There's fire burning in your tombs. The tenderness light as water and flower, the words scarcely begun on our lips. He was my destiny. And in it, my voyage of longing fell. Within you, everything sank. That's Pablo Neruda. <laughs> Did it for the 2016 talent show. It's, it's longer, but Gus, Gus, he really liked it. But I performed it for my father. I'll take that. You're not my father. He would have given up on me already. I doubt that. What do you think companions are? I don't. Liar. Punishment. Punishment for what? Like I said, I don't. God's left the building. That's what I think. And there's no one to keep score anymore. He leveled the playing field. Left us a reminder. Do you trust him? I ain't much for religion. No, no, Merit. Do you trust Merit? You met him. Yeah, but I hear talking. We're talking. Okay, I hear whispering. I left my gun on the kitchen counter. God damn it, though. You can't keep doing shit like this. I'm sorry. Sorry ain't good enough. If we're in this together, you gotta start pulling. You gotta start pulling your own damn way. I'm sorry. My name is Everett Bonham. I'm speaking to you from the Isle of Bodega. I want you to know me. The real me. The anomalies continue. Again, we live in fear. Angels must break their wings to learn how to fly again. Harry, where's the gun? I'm sorry, Abner. I'm so sorry. Who are you talking to? The preacher? I ain't got a choice. We're blood, Mary. 
What the fuck is wrong with you? She's sick. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna help her. You gotta stay! No, come quick! Marriott won't survive it, okay? Give me the gun. It's okay. It's okay. Leave her alone. It was me. Abner ain't got the courage. You know what he's gonna do to us. Just... Just put us out of our misery, man. How long? How long till he gets here? Fifteen minutes. Y'all got to get. Ain't no use. You got to go, Merrick! I ain't gonna go without her. Well... She ain't gonna make it. I don't wanna go on if she ain't with me. I ain't telling you! He died out there. All them people. There ain't no olive bodega. They're all gone. It was suicide. They started to see things. Themselves. They saw themselves. Only they was... He was dead. If you go out there, you'll see. There ain't nothing. Ephraim just made it up so everybody come. Is Ephraim dead? Is he? Where is he? Your ranch is gonna be full of companions, Abner. There ain't nothing. They're all gone. Hell, you might even see yourself. Let's get it. You and me, how about it? No. I can fish too. We can head further south, find ourselves a little beach, in the bar, drink it dry. Eat sushi till we're sick. Yeah, that does sound nice. You can swim with stingrays all damn day if you want. I got it. It can be good. <sighs> Better. It can be better no, than... No, I... I don't believe you. Think you'll leave me somewhere and come back. I know you. When you die out here, it'll be well, just I don't want you to die either, but... I mean... Don't change a damn thing. Did I move you just a little? I practice that all the way down here. No, not at all. Give me my hat. This one? This, this hat? You know we're probably gonna die out here. You really want me to remember you this way? Yeah, I do. I mean, besides, right, I have your hat, I've got a gun, and I've got a straight path out of here. Don't get much better than that. Really attached to this thing, huh? Okay. Hey, hey. Abner. This is me showing you a minute. I'd walk right out of here. Taking you all the way to Mexico. Stay put. Jacob. Jacob. Abner? Jacob! Abner, don't leave me! Abner! Jacob!
You was a good boy. Let's do what you were told. You and your mom. What have you taken from me, Ephraim? My faith. No. You've taken my certainty. We're in the dark! We went back for you. You left me there. We went back for you. <laughs> you knew I was alive. Did you see it in the barn? You know what it means, right? <laughs> you know what it means! It's all been decided! It's not over! Nothing matters! Shit, son. I tried. You tried? Every time I breathe in around you, I am startled by this cold wind that is entirely full of piss! Take it! Ah! They're all dead. <laughs> is that frame dead? Can't say for sure. That woman ground you into dirt. I have to bring her back. I'll tell you what. I'll save her for you. Oh, that's right. You already told me how this ends. Well, this will be interesting. Abner? Abner? Oh, Abner, don't come. 
okay. We can get to Ephraim. Okay, Abner? Abner, I, I need you. I should have stayed with her. <laughs> Give me my no, gun. No, 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 hey, hey. Hey. You don't need it anymore. You see him? You can go with him. You can, you can go. You don't be hot. <laughs> Let that sunshine be washed away again. Okay. <laughs> Abner. find ourselves in the end. No great mystery. We are the companions. It's haunted. Oh, God. The tape rewinds itself. I'll listen to all of it. It's a confession. I am alone. All those poor souls were led here on the confession of a madman. That was my purpose. The Isle of Bodega is a lie. This is my confession. <laughs> no use sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves, huh? Stay away. There is no life here.
I didn't think I'd ever get to touch you again. You're bleeding. Did you kill Abner? I tried. Did you want him to kill me? No. No, we went back to the farm to, to save- Abner saved me. Preacher was gonna shoot me. I know why he did it. Can we fix this? Because I want to, but please be honest and tell me did spending all that time. I had time to listen with... to him. Believe him. I wish he never would have came. <gasps> You did what you had to do. <laughs> you got back to me. There is no isle of Bodega, Ella. I know. And nobody is going to save us. It... We'll save ourselves. No more radios, just us. It's gonna take me some time to get back to normal. I know. And I'll be with you. I've done things. It doesn't matter. I forgive you, and that's what matters. These things are going to come back. And I've got to... I've got to take care no, of it. No, you won't. That was the whole point of this. We've earned it. And I want my ring back. Did you lose it? Uh, it's at the farmhouse. You left it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Now we have something to do. Jesus. I made you a plate. It's not Thursday night steaks, but you know. So, how'd you sleep? He made me sleep in the truck. <laughs> he made you sleep in the truck? Yeah, he didn't want me around. It's not like what you think it was. What makes you so sure of that? I mean, what if it is exactly what I think it is? No, he wanted them to get me first. Look, do you want to talk about it? Because I think we should. You know what I think we should talk about? I think we should talk about what you and that uh, cowboy talked about. I was afraid but of you him. You didn't want him to die. Did you? No. 
He didn't deserve to die. What's out there? I hear it. I don't hear anything. It's like a drum. Look, uh, tomorrow I want to plant a garden, you know, for the future. I found these seeds in the barn. You went into the barn? I didn't think I needed your permission. I told you not to go into the barn! What difference does it make? It doesn't. I saw you. What? Crying. Over him. Abner. You saw me? I was in the trees. You love him? been in front of us all this time. Gus, please. Not in here. Shh. Just let me don't go. Fight. Hey, no, don't, don't do fight. it. Don't fight. Don't fight. The bridge or something. I've had this secret for so long. And I, I, I can't keep it in anymore. Time doesn't mean anything to the dead. Okay, I'm sorry. But you die in here. We both do. We can, we can stop it. There's no end. But don't you want to find it? I mean, I mean, we could at least try. We, we fought for each other. Oh, I fought for you. No. Because you were always coming back here. No. We Gus. both were. Gus. I love you. Give me the fucking keys, Gus. <laughs> Give me the keys. Give me the keys. I threw them in the field. No. 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 You did it.
Sins, I let who With I fire. thought I was win. Lost With my soul fire. in nonchalance. I cannot With tell fire. what pain I've caused. My body's With here, fire. my heart is not. The war I With waged fire. was hardly fought. At With what fire. cost? Where do I go? I pray to God to so barely know. With wine and fire. fire, blood and bone. I drink, I burn, I bleed alone. God help me With now. Fire. I've lost my way, and so With I bend my knees and pray. Say what I've sacrificed that my ego could survive, could not have been left less whole. I cut apart my heart and soul on every stage. I left a piece to acquiesce. My devotees gave away all I could see. Now there's nothing left for me. With wine and fire, with blood and bone, I drink, I burn, I bleed alone. God help me now, I've lost my way, and so I've bent my knees and prayed. Wine and fire with blood and bone. I drink, I burn, I bleed alone. God help me now, I've lost my way, and so I bend my knees and pray. With wine, with fire, with blood, with bone. Forgive me, saints, for I have sinned. I let my lesser morals win. I gave away. 